the government has a core task of enhancing the investment climate in India. It has to create employment opportunities for the population that India has. Union Budget 23 will be the last full-fledged budget for the current government before the 2024 general elections. As a country, we have come a long way after the pandemic and showcased resilience during the current fiscal year. In this fiscal year, being the 75th year of our independence, India has overcome UK and became the fifth largest economy in the world. We have seen almost 30 percentage growth in the direct tax collections till December 22, when compared to the last fiscal year. Direct tax collections till December 22 is about 14.20 lakh crores, out of which 50 percentage is contributed by individuals. Despite this, the government has a core task of enhancing the investment climate in India. It has to create employment opportunities for the population that India has, build infrastructure, and so on and so forth. The list is pretty long. The government has to do all this despite the current geopolitical climate the, go the globe is currently facing. The government has to do this and curtail the increased cost of living and in the pandemic fear which is surrounding uh, the country and some of the nearby geographies. The headwinds are strong. This is not going to be an easy task. But at the same time, this is not something that is impossible to achieve. Having come this far as a country, we can definitely go for our dream to achieve the $5 trillion economy in the near future. Given this backdrop, in my view, the following could be the priorities and asks from the government in terms of the Union Budget 2023. The first thing is increasing the disposable income in the hands of the individuals. For this purpose, the government could look at reducing the tax rate from the current limit of 30% being the maximum marginal rate, bring it down to 25%. Similarly, they could also enhance the basic exemption limit, which is at 2.5 lakhs to 5 lakhs, because 2.5 lakhs has been fixed quite some years back. Further, the government could also look at reviewing some of the deduction limits which have been fixed ages ago and see how current they are. All these things will increase the disposable income in the hands of the individuals. Further, reducing the tax rate will align India with other APAC economies, stronger APAC economies, and it will be a good tool to attract and retain global talent in India. The second thing is on the clarity and certainty, which is another ask from the industry. This is on the policy front. The government should come up with specific guidelines clearly outlining the tax regulatory and legal requirements for hybrid working, work from home, and moonlighting concepts, which are rampant, especially post the pandemic. The third ask is going to be easing the compliance. The government has done a lot on the income tax space. The ask is to roll out the labor codes, which are aimed at simplifying the labor laws and at the same time, enhancing the ease of compliance and administration. Thank you.